a great educational opportunity for Kate. The other news is Luna is actually off. No stirrups November. They used to do this for fun. Kate's doing no stirrups, no hands. We are down and out with a flu. We went to the hospital yesterday, got antibiotics. I wanted to first say a huge hello and welcome to all of our new subscribers. We know several of you have come over in the last couple of weeks and joined our channel and we're so grateful for that. It is such an amazing experience to share all of this with you guys and subscribing is a huge help for us. So thank you for all of our new subscribers. I think a lot of you came over to see Julia's ride with Gracie and unfortunately lessons got canceled. We decided to go still with our friends over at Day by Day Vlogs and do just a fun ride with our horses and Julia was gonna ride Gracie because she's hoping to take Gracie to lessons and we thought oh it will be a perfect time just outside of lessons to go have a fun ride see how she does. We got there we picked her up from school on the drive there she started getting a headache and then once we were there Kate said she brought some candy for her she says and no. she said no she didn't want it we were like uh red flag we got there she was so excited to give sophie her present she gave it to her and then she was saying she wanted to go lie down in the truck so we knew <laughs> things weren't great so instead what we did was kate and gabby had their ride Look at him. and they did no stirrups, no arms, did some jumping and just had a fun ride with the horses. So we're actually gonna shoot you over to that video right now. So you can see a little bit of that. While we go and get Foxy, we're gonna bring her to the backyard. And then we have some other news for you. November. They used to do this for fun. My kids used to do this too. They used to. They like no, like no stirrups. Yeah, yeah. We used to do that all the time. That was when wow. Storm was smooth. lesson, Kate decides no stirrups. I am already sore, might as well add sore to the equation, you know? She says she's sore from her fitness class today at school.
Oxy's favorite thing in the world is clover. There's a little patch of clover here in the backyard for her. There's some over here too. Oh, there's a good patch right there. So Julie's just given her a brush and we decided instead of doing it inside, we'll bring her out to the nice patch of clover so she can eat all her favorite things. Let her enjoy the backyard grass. Yeah, she loves the backyard grass and the clover. And the horses are never back here, but... Clearly, there's no fence. Yeah, there's no fence here, but... Foxy is a good girl. She won't go anywhere, and... She's really struggling to move now, so... If she does try to go anywhere, I could walk faster than her. Yeah, she can't go anywhere too fast, but she won't go anywhere. So Julia's just giving her a nice brush out. I'll have to pick up all of her fur after. Yeah, we'll pick up her hair. Foxy's hair's just blowing everywhere. <laughs> Getting hot, Julia. Yeah, I am. It is beautiful. This is like a crazy weekend for warmth. It was 21 degrees Celsius yesterday. Oh. I started to do Christmas decorations. Yeah, Julia and I started hanging Christmas decorations because we're into November now and we thought, might as well hang it in gorgeous weather. Daddy got on the tractor and it scared her, so she wanted to come back she in the also paddock. She to see her friends. See her friends, yeah. So, brushing her in here. Guineas are in the back, chirping away. No, they're literally right there. I know. <laughs> they're literally right here right now. I can see that nothing's staring them. It's because they're calling. Buddy and Bob are off somewhere. So we're trying to locate Buddy and Bob. Dusk. We did get some very sad news about Foxy. The vet said that we've done everything that we can do for this sweet girl, but it's time for us to think about putting her down. So we have to call and book an appointment. So that'll probably be in the next week or two. We were hoping to give her a month, but... She won't be able to have a month. No. She's too sore. Yeah, she's having a hard time, so... This body just won't keep up with her. Hey? Pin in her ears at Duke, her favorite thing to do. <laughs> friends with her. She doesn't like you. <laughs> Even when she's not feeling Foxy. great, she's still Foxy. got energy to do that. The other news is Scott knows I'm trying to film a video, so decided it's a great time to start that lawnmower. I'm kidding. He's just parking it in the shed. <laughs> he just noticed that I'm filming. Gives me the thumbs up. Every time. Like clockwork. Luna is actually off. In the summer, the spring, we did a video and talked about us having an opportunity to go to an amazing facility where they train Grand Prix and Olympic horses. We were able to get a spot in there for Luna. And the reason that we did that was she's gonna go, <laughs> he just can't help himself. <laughs> Starting the lawnmower again. All right, now it's in the shed. Anytime now, eh? Oh, what's she doing? Back to what we were saying. The reason that we did that is because she is very familiar with Luna's lineage, her sire line. She is a Rio baby, and with that, they are supposed to be very athletic, but also very willful, <laughs> and that Luna is. And so she's really great for us, but she's starting to become a problem with the vet and the farrier. If she doesn't want to do it, she is very willful. Now, we could continue training her ourselves, but we want to make sure that she has the best foundation possible. So we are sending her to someone who is used to working with real babies and athletic horses that are destined to compete at high levels. So she is taking her for a few months. We can go visit her whenever we want. She is doing really well. It's also going to be 
an amazing opportunity for Kate because she is going to be allowed to volunteer there, which is going to let her know all of the ways that Luna is being trained so that we can continue that when she's back here. But it is also going to let her observe and help out with the training of all of the other horses that will give her an amazing foundation for training horses and different things that we can do here with our horses. It is a great educational opportunity for Kate as well. So we are really excited about that, but it also means it is gonna be quiet here. We've got Duke, Jack and Stevie, and so it is gonna be an adjustment. In talking with the trainer there, we'll see how Luna does. If it becomes apparent that she is definitely a horse that needs to be owned by a professional and not a family, so that she thrives to her full potential, then we'll, we'll possibly think about that. But right now the intention is that she's gonna get trained, have a good, good? foundation, and then you good? come back here. The reality is, is she won't be ready for Kate to be showing her for several years because Kate will be going to university. So anyway, lots of things to think about. We have started doing trails and we're really loving trails right now. So this is maybe just a good opportunity for us to transition. Scott and I will do trails and the girls will continue doing their riding journey. With Foxy, when we got her, we always knew that this was gonna happen. We were hoping that we would, it's every year, it's just been um, trying different things, medications, treatments, food, that could help her be more comfortable and extend her life as long as we could so that she was comfortable and happy. But it was always the intention when she came here that she was just gonna live as long as we could have her live comfortably and spoil her with love. And that's what we've done. So the vet said we've given her the best years and done everything we could. We talked about different treatments, but um, the vet said that at some point we need to really just consider her quality of life and what is fair for her. And she said we haven't done anything at this point that's gone beyond that but for us to do any further treatments we would be risking that and we don't want to do that so as hard as it's going to be for us to say goodbye to her we definitely want to do what's best for her. So. Julia and Foxy have always had a really special relationship. Foxy loved Julia from the second she saw her and used to love getting hugs from her. Hey, okay. You are a snuggly one. She is honestly, she's been the best, she's been the best thing that ever happened to our family. So we've been blessed to have her for the years that we've had her. And I'm glad that she could live out her final days with a family that absolutely loves her. Knowing how loved she is. We shed so much here. She's dusty. Yeah, it's always there. Yeah. No, they're on your face. One of her favorite spots. It's always so dusty to there. To rub. I don't know why it's always so dusty there for her. <laughs> Me? She fell asleep. At night, one time I did this. Yeah, but one of her favorite spots to be rubbed. That, and she likes her cheeks. She likes to be <coughs> hugged. Look how tall you are now. When you first started hugging her, you were all the way down here. I was like this. <laughs> I know. Duke and Jack in the background, bugging each other. Duke and Jack, stop it. Alright, should we go take her for some more clover? 